Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley. Welcome back to my channel. So surprise, surprise, it's actually cold today. For today's video, I actually have a really fun one planned for you. So something I constantly get questions on is where I find my fashion inspo and where I kind of get like inspiration for when I go thrifting or shopping in general. And the answer to that is I actually love using Pinterest. It's like an amazing place to go ahead and organize your thoughts. I have a bunch of different boards and specifically now for fall fashion, I have a board called Falling for Fall and I pinned a bunch of different styles that I've been seeing on my page that I've been loving. All that being said, you guys know on my channel, I do a bunch of videos thrifting for dupes like Urban Outfitters and Brandy Melville Well, I thought today would be super fun to go on ahead and thrift for Pinterest dupes So I have my whole board of inspiration I'm gonna take it into the thrift store with me and at the end of the video I'm actually gonna go ahead and style some outfits for you guys trying to recreate the pictures I see on Pinterest exactly with all that being said I got my big bag right here, and I'm excited to get into it. So without further ado, let's head on in so from the men's section something i have a ton on in my pinterest is oversized sweatshirts just like this one so i actually kind of really like this this green graphic is really cute and it looks like a good size sweatshirt fleecy Nike sweater. I mean, it's huge, but I would probably crop a sweater like this. And I think this is like a perfect dupe for something that I saw recently. This really sick champion one too. I love this logo. You guys know it looks exactly like those university sweatshirts. I see a bunch of polos on the Pinterest app as well. I mean, all these little outfits with high-waisted jeans and these little collars with the buttons. So freaking cute. And something I've been seeing a ton of lately has been these like really long kind of trench coat styles, but in leather, which I think is so cool. So I'm on the hunt for some of those. And I actually found this one, which looks super cool. It's really long. Definitely something I've seen on Pinterest. I don't know if I could pull it off, but I definitely think it's worth a shot. And black puffer jackets have been a huge thing lately also. This one looks like it's a pretty small size, but it's super duper plush and puffy. Holy moly guys, this is an iconic find. Look at this Wrangler denim jacket, but the inside is all fuzzy. I am so excited for this and I saw an exact one on my Pinterest too. Okay, let's go on ahead and try some jackets. I have this big puffer one on. This one seems a little bit like it's too puffy for me, but we're getting the idea. So I gotta admit, this does look a tad matrixy, but I'm kind of getting the vision for it, but I'm actually into it. I mean, obviously not wearing it with all black underneath, but I feel like if I had an all white outfit underneath, this would look so cool. Oh guys, this jacket, seriously, it is like the best thing I've ever seen. It's so warm. It's like perfectly oversized. So amazing for fall. I can just imagine layering this with like black turtlenecks underneath. So many different ways to wear it. So in the women's section now, let's go on ahead and start with some pants. Something I'm seeing a ton of my Pinterest is not only jeans, but a lot of white pants. Plaid patterns and corduroy is definitely something I'm going to be looking for as well. I told you guys textured and patterned pants are really fun and look at these striped ones I've actually been seeing the striping pattern come back and it really depends on how it's gonna fit I hope it's gonna be high-waisted Lots of corduroy, but having a little bit of a tough time finding high-waisted ones I want to show you guys this color because I've been so into pistachio for the fall I mean even my nails are like a neon version of pistachio, but I do love this color so much I Told you guys white pants is something I've been seeing so much on Pinterest and there's so many different ways to style pants like these They're super high-waisted and flowy. I'm pretty sure they're 100% linen, which is amazing As you guys know little cardigans have been super popular and I just found this beautiful yellow one It looks like it would even be a little bit cropped the way I'd wear it is just buttoned down probably with a little bralette underneath cute oh i love this color yes i'm so happy i actually found a pistachio cardigan this one is definitely long but i would probably crop it to make it more of a cropped fit but it's gonna look so cute i hope that it fits nicely because i love this color this is a really simple top but i love this kind of like scoop neckline and the sleeves actually flare out a little bit and it feels like it's brand new so definitely gonna pick up these another little pistachio find but this one's already cropped and it's super warm and fuzzy loving this okay guys so i just got to accessories and i found these little glasses i think that they are so cool so retro perfect for fall but i just love the shape of them i feel like with all my looks so good Seriously guys, when you have a bunch of inspo heading into the thrift store, it's so much easier to find stuff that you love. And I have a huge bag of goodies that I'm so excited to share with you guys. Stay tuned, we're gonna put some outfits together. 
Okay guys, so it is the next day and I am back at home right now. I went ahead and washed all the different items that you saw me thrift and I actually went through and created nine to 10 different outfits, recreating some of the different Pinterest pictures that I was using for inspiration. Let's start off with the cardigans because I actually went a little bit crazy with the cardigans. I really love them. And the first one I actually picked up is the one that I'm wearing that you guys saw in the store. And because of this photo, I was actually on the lookout for a cardigan in this color because I am just obsessed with this blue color right now. I love that it's already cropped that I didn't have to do it myself and it looked really, really cute on. So I actually had a style here just like in the photo I paired it with some dark denim vintage Levi's that I also thrifted a little while back and these ones are super vintage you can see the Levi's tag is like really worn out but they fit so nice and high-waisted and I actually really love the contrast of the light blue and the dark blue denim I topped off the entire outfit just wearing my Nike Air Force ones and as you guys can see in the photo she's actually wearing um, a cream colored purse and I don't have a cream colored purse yet but I do have this little juicy couture one which has this cream colored heart right here which I love because every time I wear this bag it gives it such a cute little dainty detail into the look so that's the entire recreated Pinterest look for piece number one so the next cardigan I actually picked up was this beautiful green one and I told you guys I am absolutely obsessed with pistachio color right now it is definitely one of the colors of the season I've been seeing it a ton and when I saw this one it was just perfect to recreate this photo right here and I'm telling you guys at the thrift stores I've been seeing cardigans like this everywhere and they've been selling at Aritzia for like a hundred dollars which is insane so the Pinterest inspiration for this look I actually paired it with a pair of denim as well but these ones are definitely a little bit lighter than the ones I was wearing previously this is actually the first pair of vintage Levi's I ever thrifted they are my favorite fitting Levi's they are the 521 style in a size 28 from the men's section they're a little bit cropped but I just roll it up at the ankle because there's already a lot of color going on with the blue denim and the green pistachio I just paired this neutral Fendi I do air quotes because I thrifted this for like 25 or 30 dollars most likely not real but I do think it is super cool and the pattern is super authentic to Fendi regardless and I think overall it is such a nice look and honestly a perfect recreation so the last little cardigan I picked up is a great staple to have in your wardrobe and it is this one it is just a little black one it is so beautifully fitted because the cardigan is actually black and it's not a specific color I thought it would be really fun to pair it with a cooler pair of pants and I actually picked up these corduroy pants last year in the fall time and I really love corduroy for the fall playing with different textures and fabrics is something I love doing and on Pinterest I've actually been seeing a bunch of corduroy being styled and I thought pairing this black cardigan tucked into these corduroy pants would look amazing together and damn guys I actually love this outfit together so much because the pants are more wide leg I thought that like a nice little pop of texture would be really cool to peep right under that little pant line so I think that the checkered vans really pulled that entire look together it looks so good even though it's super casual you still look really sophisticated and stylish and I just love that combo and you guys saw that I found this perfect like neutral beigey cream color top it's just a rib material but the neckline is super flattering and this is the pinterest photo that i actually tried to match so i'm so happy i found this top and just like that photo i wanted to do kind of like a cream on white combination so i actually went ahead and paired it with my white levi's but these are just my simple 501 levi's also thrifted from the men's section and i absolutely love them and then to pull the entire monochromatic look together i decided to pair it with my white and black dior monogram sneakers it just pulls the entire creamy look really well and i definitely am going to be wearing a ton more neutrals coming this fall. Okay, so going ahead into pants, I only actually picked up one pair of pants because they were the only ones that seemed to fit me right. And you guys saw it is these super tight, high-waisted, striped, pinstriped ones. I love these so much. And I was so excited when I found them because I was actually on the hunt. When I saw this picture, I was like, I really, really want these thin pinstripe pants. And when I was skimming like the whole pant aisle and I saw this pattern, I was like, wow, I'm just praying that these fit me. And they did. They fit so beautifully. So for this look specifically, I just paired it with a little black t-shirt. I didn't have one with a white graphic, so I just went with a simple cropped black tee. And then just threw on a leather jacket, again, going with the whole monochromatic look. I'm loving the all white, all black looks. I never thought that I would actually pair textured pants with textured shoes, but because the stripes on this, like in the photo, are so thin and dainty, I feel like it actually doesn't clash. And if anything, the two textures really complement each other so I'm really excited about this look as well and you guys have no idea how amazing it feels to recreate these outfits and like know now if I'm going somewhere I already have looks put together in my mind in my closet it's like so refreshing now we're gonna get into one of my personal favorites um, sweaters and sweatshirts and crew necks and all that good stuff so you guys saw this black crew neck with the Tokyo graphic on it I just think that it is so cool everything with this touch of like green neon lime green I'm obsessed with and I have shoes in that color I mean even my nails are in that color on Pinterest there's a bunch of like really bad black on black looks 
that I wanted to recreate, especially for those more casual days. So taking a black crew neck like this, like in the photo you see right here, I actually decided to pair it with some baggy black cargos. These are cargos that I actually thrifted, but they are originally BDG denim from Urban Outfitters. They fit so nicely. They're so high-waisted and baggy. Everything here, by the way, guys, I'm going to try to link dupes for everything down below so you can go ahead and shop it if you're into the style. I decided to wear them with my Adidas Stan Smith sneakers because they also have that green detail here on the ends. And especially for those more casual days, a black on black baggy look is definitely something that I would be rocking because it's just comfortable and it's simple and it's easy. Just a nice go-to. All right, so next up, you guys saw me pick up this sweater and holy crap, this one was such a score. And I love that it has like the old school champion varsity lettering, but I've been seeing sweaters like this a ton on Pinterest and it was definitely something I was on the lookout for. So rather than just wearing a simple pair of mom jeans, I actually went ahead and opted for some really fun Levi flares, but they are the Levi's ribcage split flare jeans. They literally split right here in the bottom. Um, I do need to get them hemmed. Keep that in mind, they are super long, so I have to take them to my seamstress. Because this champion sweater is super big and oversized, I decided to opt out for some more form-fitting jeans just like this. So they hug the waist and the legs really well, and they only flare out at the bottom, which I thought was really cool. You guys saw this huge, probably the biggest sweater I own, Nike hoodie, and it's just in this navy color, and it is super fleecy, and so comfortable and so warm. I just thought this one was really cool because it was actually genuinely long enough for me to wear as a sweater dress. And on Pinterest, I've actually been seeing a ton of people wearing sweaters as like oversized sweater dresses. So I was really on the hunt for something like that. I just paired it with my huge Windsor Smith Lupe sneakers. They are super platform. And when I'm wearing something like a dress that's just really baggy, I like wearing those because they make my legs look super long. And then I also wore my crew socks, which just have a little Nike swoosh on them to kind of go with the whole Nike branding. But if it gets chillier, outside I can definitely go ahead and give this sweater a crop and just wear it with some high-waisted jeans make it a bit more appropriate for colder fall and even winter coming up so you guys saw this insanely cool trucker-esque jacket from Wrangler but holy moly this is warm and this is comfy and I actually put it in the laundry and now it just smells really good too. It has this like wool line on the inside and I love that it's actually a dark denim, which is really perfect for the fall time. So having pictures like this on my Pinterest board, I just really wanted one of these oversized denim jackets and the fact that this one is lined is even better. Just like in the photo here, because it is already denim, I decided to go ahead and pair it with the black pants as well. I'm actually wearing mine right now. They're Levi's that I actually went ahead and put slits in the knees myself. If you guys wanna see DIYs on how I did that, you can go ahead and check my DIY thrifting video here. But anyway, I just wore those black distressed mom jeans with this look and then I just had a little white t-shirt that I tied at the front threw this jacket right on top and it just looks so good together but such a nice look and a great recreation for what I've been seeing on Pinterest and yeah that's pretty much it guys that is everything that I picked up on my thrifting Pinterest dupes video I hope that you enjoyed it be sure to give it a really big thumbs up if you liked it let me know down below if you like this concept of me kind of like thrifting and then coming home showing you some outfits I'm just trying to change it up a little bit on my channel if you guys want me to do more thrifting for dupes video let me know down below what your favorite stores are what kind of things you want me to recreate and also I want to know which of these looks were your favorite and which trends are you really loving for the fall and winter too and definitely if you guys like these outfits go ahead follow my Pinterest for more inspiration or even do one better go ahead and follow me on Instagram it's just Haley's Corner with two R's and there I actually post a bunch of different little outfits showing you all the things that I've been thrifting and kind of more of like an everyday look on how I style these pieces on the daily but otherwise if you're new be sure to subscribe down below and join our amazing family as well if you love thrifting fashion content vlogs I do a bunch of that on my channel too that you guys have been loving but I feel like I've been talking forever I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you in my next one bye